Groundbreaking research at UC Davis may have finally found a solution to a disease that costs California winemakers millions of dollars each and every year. And tonight we're getting answers on how these new grapes can soon change the wine you drink. Well, it's been a chronic problem. For 20 years, UC Davis professor Andrew Walker has been trying to find a cure for Pierce's disease. It kills grapevines and is transmitted by an insect called the glassy winged sharpshooter, which is responsible for spreading the bacteria throughout California wine country. About four to 5,000 acres are under attack, and the vines die in a slow rate between two and five years. Uh, there's no escaping that death. But now UCD researchers have created an innovative way to stop the spread by using a grape native to Mexico, which is naturally resistant to the disease. If they're highly resistant, then they won't support the bacteria and it'll sort of slow down and stop. Scientists use a combination of genetics and crossbreeding to blend the traditional wine grapes with the disease resistant plants. So that allows us to have good quality uh, in the wine grapes and at the same time have strong resistance. The results? five new types of wine grapes. We made a Cabernet type grape, a Zinfandel type grape, a Petit Syrah like grape, a Chardonnay like grape, and a Sauvignon Blanc like grape. But how do these disease resistant grapes taste? Researchers held a blind taste test. They ranked as highly as, as traditional wine varieties. Uh, they were indistinguishable in many regards. In fact, they were some of the, our wines were better than those wines. And he's hoping these new varieties will be in bottles soon. And the growers themselves are very excited about being able to use these. A big breakthrough, but yeah, you want to know, how do they taste? Of course. Now we know. Researchers are now working with nurseries to grow these grapes. They hope to get them distributed across California and other western states in the next two years.